स्पोर्ट्स मेडिकल सेंटर गुड इवनिंग वी कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन विद डॉक्टर सीवली जय विक्रम वी क्लोज लास्ट टाइम डॉक्टर विद द बैन सब्सटेंस लिस्ट कमिंग आउट इन अक्टूबर डॉक्टर कुड यू टेल अस मारिया शरपोफ द फेमस टेनिस प्लेयर व्हाट वाज द प्रॉब्लम दैट शी हैड यस शरपोवा वाज यूजिंग अ ड्रग व्हिच वाज नॉट बैन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर सो शी कंटिन्यूड एंड व्हेन शी वेंट फॉर द ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन एंड शी हैड टू गिव अ sample of urine to be tested and she found a drug that she has been using the previous year has been banned in that particular year so that's something that she came out and had a press conference also and she said that it her fault because the international tennis federation had already sent the prohibited list to her but she did not check it whether what are the drugs that they have introduced which are banned for that particular year so unfortunately the drug that she was using for some endurance perspective it was banned on the following year so she got uh, sanction for that use in that banned substance let's get on to our own uh, very own susantika jaising mary and jones taking the banned substance and subsequently being identified your thoughts on that doctor yeah that's uh, quite a different story here because she was tested 167 times and never found any prohibited substance in her urine and blood samples but what happened uh, her former husband came out and said that you know she spent a lot of money to get a new drug introduce which the laboratories which are accredited by the world anti doping agency won't be able to detect it so she has spent a lot of money for that and they introduce a designer hormone for her and she took part in the sydney olympics in year 2000 where susantika also ran and she got the gold medal then they found that she has spent a lot of money to a research laboratory called balco and uh, there was a federal court case and she was found guilty and since then she was banned and she has to return her medals back and uh, to the international olympic committee that's how susantika who had a bronze was able to get a silver medal so that's the story behind as uh, dr cv just mentioned so let's get back on to the coaches roles and responsibilities on anti doping doctor yeah the coaches responsibilities should be that they have to understand and comply with the anti doping rules so anti doping rules are concerned for the sanctions there are few that we all should know that is presence of prohibited substances in an athlete's urine sample that is one and the use or attempt the use of any drug which is being banned is also can be taken as a rule violation refusing to submit the sample sometimes when we go and try to notify the athlete that we have selected you to give a urine sample they run away right so if they do so we take it as that he has violated anti doping rules so that is one way of you know getting sanctions the other one is the failure to file at least whereabouts now for example there are two sports in sri lanka currently that is cricket and weightlifting we are in the international level so these players who have reached that international level are being registered under the testing pool of the international federation for example Indian Cricket Council ICC our national players have been re- registered even the weightlifters now what happens here is that they have to tell their whereabouts from 6 o'clock onwards to 6 pm early morning to 6 pm they have to mention every hour where they will be like they will be training somewhere they might be at home they might be in the gym likewise so and we are been informed to go and test or sometimes they send their representatives directly to those where they are because they have the list where they are so they can go and get the sample 
quite easily. So whereabouts, if they change, they have to inform them. Sometimes you might have to attend a wedding or a funeral or some other engagement. So if they have to do so and if they have to change their previous, you know, itinerary, they have to inform the International Federation and they will know that, you know, that he has changed his timing where he has been. So that is one and we are also going to introduce very soon in Sri Lanka also. The other one is the tampering with any part of the substance. There had been instances in the past, not in Sri Lanka, but uh, internationally. Then possession of prohibited substances. Then trafficking is also another way of, you know, getting punishment. The administrator attempting to administer prohibited substances to a athlete. It might be the doctor even. It might be a support staff administrator maybe. Sometimes the federation maybe. Sometimes, you know, if they get to know that they are the people who have been involved in giving these drugs, they also be punishable. And our act, Convention Against Doping in Sports in Sri Lanka, has gone beyond the World Anti-Doping Agency rules and regulations where we can file a case, a criminal case in Colombo High Court. And if that person is found guilty, he might get a rigorous imprisonment, not more than two years, and a fine of 500,000 rupees to 1 million rupees. So that's how we are trying to, you know, combat this doping issues like that. But uh, these are things that people should know. And uh, because we alone cannot do it alone. We need the support of the media, staff, all that, you know, and uh, to help in this to combat so thank you doctor so we will continue this discussion next saturday on anti-doping with dr sebele jayavikram thank you thank you